y'all friends it's Beth with Thimble Hooks and today I'm going to show you what I consider the easiest baby booty in the world this is really simple it works up pretty fast and it's just basic basic stitch knowledge so even for a beginner you can come up with almost instant gratification this will be done and you could have a set of booties done an hour or two even if you really never completed a project you just keep making swatches and making swatches you practice your stitches this is something that can actually be done pretty quickly just cute itty bitty it's about three and a half inches so I would consider this for uh, like a newborn baby like an infant baby not a toddler baby but there you go He's super cute and we're gonna show I'm gonna show you how to do this it's a really easy pattern that I've made I don't even know how long ago <laughs> this is funny. I've had this one around forever. It's probably one of the first things I ever designed and I went, I love designing. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set him off to the side just a little bit. He can stay in the camera shot though in case you want to be able to reference. Now just so that you'll be able to see all the stitches that I'm doing, I'm not going to use this yarn. I am going to use, this is Karen Simply Soft White. This is Karen Simply Soft Soft Pink. And this is Karen Simply Soft Soft Green. So you'll be able to see all the different layers and all the stitches that I'm doing. So the first thing you do for any of my baby booties is you make two baby booty soles. Two of these little guys. I have a video out for the baby booty soles already because that's how you're going to start every one of my booties. So that has its own video so you can get practice on making these before you jump into anything else. I'm not going to make the baby booty soles in the front of every one of my videos just because it will just take too much time. So you can reference back to that one but you make two. Always going to start with two. Any color you want whatever you're doing. I've chosen pink and white today so you'll be able to see the different layers. So what you do is you can tell that this, this side just a little bit shinier it seems. The stitches just look a little bit cleaner. So this is the wrong side. You take the wrong sides and you sandwich them together. So your extra little tails are inside. You don't even have to weave those in. They're just going to disappear here in a minute. So you just have this little little guy here. Now I'm going to take a four millimeter hook. I know that Karen is supposed to use a five but we're going to make nice tight stitches so that little tootsies stay warm. That's why I'm using a four. So they won't have a lot of big gaps. So what we're going to do is we have these sandwiched together. Start at the back of the heel. Back here. Anywhere. Because we'll, we'll uh, get it all centered in a little while. Right now it doesn't matter exactly where you start. As long as you go through all. You have to go through this stitch and go through the back one. So you have to make sure that you go through both layers and now we're going to bring him in. Now we're going to do slip stitches all the way around. End up being 44 slip stitches. So go through both layers, pull him through and slip stitch. And you will see that there is no green overlapping on the outside. We don't want that to show. So again, we're just going to slip stitch all the way around. This part takes a little bit of finesse because you want to make sure that you get through both layers and you don't split any of your stitches because it's a little tricky sometimes. So there we go. This just takes a minute because it's nice tiny little booty. And I love working with Simply Soft. It's just a it's just cute. It just has a little tiny bit of a almost like a little bit of a shine or a shimmer to it. It just looks cute, I think. Especially this color combination looks like candy. I've always liked these three colors together. Do the pink and the green with a white accent. It just ends up looking really cute. 
think you're just going to love this and you're going to be surprised at how quickly you can have a finished booty. You can have a finished project. Instead of making another king size blanket that takes weeks, you can have this done while you watch a movie. You go binge something. Everybody knows somebody who has a baby. Everybody's got a baby around somewhere. Whether it's in the family or a co-worker, everybody knows a baby. So even if you just want to practice on something that's small before you take on a large project, for example, like if you wanted to make a, a cardigan or a, a really long scarf or a big blanket and you don't really want to uh, work on the same project all the time, you can stop and work on something tiny and finish it because all of us crocheters always have a dozen works in progress. It's kind of nice to be able to finish something every once in a while. And see, I'm almost all the way around. Make sure I catch all those stitches. I don't want to split any of the stitches. I want those edges to look nice. A little tricky right there. But I fixed it. And now when we go into the last stitch right here, we're going to meet up with the first stitch that you did. So there you go. You can see back here we can see the green stitches all the way around just on the bottom not on the edges. You can see the two layers. There's a white and there's the pink. So that's why I use three different colors here so you can very easily see that there is no green coming over here. Just slip stitches, not going all the way over, just going through and popping them in. Alright, so now we can start. And now we're going to cut this off right anywhere, right there. Just snip him off and pull it through. Turn it around and we're going to have these two meet up. Go from the back side to the front and bring that little tail that you just cut, just bring him through to the back. So he's on the bottom. We'll tuck him away later. But there you go. Now we're going to start the next part. I'm going to change off to a three millimeter. Use a three or a three and a half. Not everybody has a three millimeter. I know a lot of the a lot of uh, hook sets just don't have a three because it's kind of small. You start getting into those really tiny ones. Um, not many people use those for as many things because most yarn doesn't it calls for maybe a five. All right, so now we are going to, oopsie, do we cut him off? We pulled this back. We're going to go into this last stitch. I just did. Attach that. Oopsie. Attach him. And do a single crochet. We're going to mark that first stitch just because it oh, makes everything just a little bit easier, makes it a little bit faster. You know what your first stitch was, especially if you're a beginner and you think that maybe that little that little guy right there was your first stitch is not your first stitch. This is your first stitch. We just marked him so we can find him when we come around. So we're going to do a single crochet in every one of these green slip stitches all the way around should be 44. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker in just a moment.
This one gets a little bit tricky just because you want to get under here without snagging or splitting anything. You just want to go right under there and make sure you don't catch any of the pink. Only goes in between the pink and the green. You know, I just caught the pink myself. That's the tricky part there is because I am using a three millimeter hook when it wants a five. All right, so there we go. There, I got him. Oopsie. Almost split it. There we go. 43. And there's my last one, 44. There you go. There's our very first round. Now that one takes the longest amount of time just because I'm trying to be very ginger about going under the slip stitch and not doing any kind of snags at all in any of the, the pink booty sole part. I don't want to have that snag. I don't want it to get all have anything but a nice clean line. You can see there's a nice clean line. Alright, so that was our first round, 44 single crochets. Now when we get to the end of the row, look, we just came back to our stitch marker so we know exactly where we need to go. So we're going into that same stitch with the stitch marker and just going to do a slip stitch. And a chain one, so you're moving up to the next round. And I have my clicker. Round one is done. So what we need to do is make three more rounds exactly like this. Three more rounds. So you have four total of 44 single crochets. We're just building up the bottom right here. Just building that up a little bit before we start to make the decreases for the toe. So four rounds total of single crochets. Go back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and do a single crochet and mark him. As marking him just makes everything go a little smoother. Okay, I'm going to do three more rounds. Three more rounds of single crochet with my mint green and I'll meet you back. See, this goes a lot faster when you're not worried about those getting in between the slip stitch and the baby booty sole. So now it's going to go really fast. Three more rounds. So now we're done with the second round, just like we did the first time. We're back here with the stitch that's marked. We're going to slip stitch into it. So we close that round and then chain one so that we're ready for round the next round. So I'm going to click that one. All right, so the next thing you do, we already did our chain one, so we're ready to go around again. take out the marker and he's going to come right back. So in that same stitch that we just chained into, we're going to do a single crochet and mark him again. Always good to have little tiny things in life that make things go a little faster. All right, again, one more round, 44 around. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker.
stitches in this round. I'm going to do my clicker. We're back to the stitch marker. So I'm going to go in with a slip stitch and chain one so we're ready for the next round. See? Starting to look like a little boat. Like a little tiny shoe. Very close. Alright, so in that first stitch again, this is our last round of building up the, the bottom part right here. <clears throat> so we're going to go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. I'm going to mark my stitch just because it makes things easier. And I'm going to do one more round of single crochet. So it'll be a total of four. And I'll meet you back at the stitch marker one more time. All right, this is my last round of just single crochet. Then we get to start to reduce and it'll start to look like a little booty. It's going to be, it's amazing how quickly that will happen. That was my last stitch on what I call round five because the slip stitch is counted as round one and four rounds of single crochet. So we are just finished round five. So again, we are going to slip stitch to close that loop, close that round off, and let's pull this up a little bit because now we get, now we have a little trick. I'm going to find the approximate front. It doesn't have to be exact since this isn't even, whoopsie, since this is an even number you're not going to be able to find the exact center. Here we go. We're going to find the center of the front. So let's just call it this stitch. That looks about right. Just goes by eyeballs. We're going to count back this way toward the stitch marker 22. This is going to help us make sure that our reducing rows that are coming up, the reductions are actually in the front centered instead of, oopsie, off to the side a little bit and it won't look like it won't look right. It won't uh, be centered and then you'll have your reduces coming over here like this and it will look silly. So we're going to start here and count back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, so this is row, this is stitch 22 right here. So we are going to we're just going to move the stitch marker so we don't lose that stitch. We don't have to count it again. Just to hold our spot for a second. Now we can go back. Because that stitch needs to be our first, our very first stitch. So now it's marked. We can find it easily. We can take the marker out because we know we're going right here, right in here. Single crochet. Just going to move over. What we really were doing was just moving over one. Alright, so there we're going to start one of our, our first of three reducings. First of three. So the first one is single crochet. We did that one already. One single crochet. Single crochet, single crochet number two. And then the next stitch is single crochet two together, which was a, re a little tiny reduction. So we're going to go like this, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, or go through the next one, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook, and we're going to pull through all three of those. Just a little bit of a reduction on the back of the heel, just a little bit. So we had two single crochets and one single crochet two together, and then we're going to do eight more single crochets up the side here. One in each of the next eight stitches. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we've worked our way up to the toe. We need it to start looking like this. It'll be rounded. So we're going to reduce. And we're going to do that with ten double crochet two togethers. So I'll show you the first one here. You yarn over, go through that stitch, pull through. You have three loops on your hook go through two. Yarn over again and in the next stitch yarn over, pull through, go through the first two and then go through all three. Now you've taken those two stitches and turned them into one. We have to do that ten times. So this was the first one. We'll do another one. Through the stitch, yarn over, pull through the first two. Now you have two loops on your hook. I'll do that one more time. In the next stitch and pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to go through all three. That was our second one. One more time. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And there's our third one. We're going to do that for a total of ten. This is number four. That's number five. Number six. Eight, nine, ten. Alright, there's ten. And you can see it's starting to pull it in just a little bit. So just like this is symmetrical, so we're going to go back down what we did over here for the ending. And that will be eight single crochets. One in each of the eight next eight stitches. Oopsie. Get out a little bit more yarn here. So the next eight stitches each get one single crochet, each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Single crochet two together. So we can go in here, yarn over, pull through, and in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now we have three loops on our hook, and we're going to go through all three of them. So that just took those two little stitches and moved, moved them together. And the last two stitches are each just a single crochet. Here's our first round of reduction. Yay! See, starting to pull in a little bit. And starting to look like a little shoe. We have two more rounds of reducing. <clears throat> and that's it to make a toe. So now we're right, we did our last stitch, so we're going to go into the same stitch that's marked and do the slip stitch and the chain one so we're ready for the next we've got our height for the next round take him out, set him down and in that same stitch we're going to do a single crochet and put our marker back Here. 
All right, for the second round, we are going to do eight single crochets in a row. This one was the first one, that's why it's marked. So here's number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, and eight, and then two half double crochets. So there's a half double crochet number one, and a half double right there, number two. Okay, we're getting to the point where we're going to reduce again. We're back at the toe, right here. So we're going to reduce, and since we already made it a little bit smaller last round, we don't have to do as many. We're going to do six. Six double crochet, two togethers. So we yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now pull through all three. There's stitch number one. This is number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And here's our last one. Yarn over. Pull through. Go through the first two. Two loops on your hook. Through that one. First two. Now with three loops on our hook. Go through all three. That was number six. So again, sym symmetry. I'm going to do two half double crochets. There's the first one. And in the next stitch, get a half double crochet as well. Boom. Now our last ones, eight single crochets down the rest of this. Working our way back to that stitch marker. Two. them out here a little bit. See? Pulled it in a little bit more so it's a little bit more rounded now. It's like a toe. Starting to be like this toe. Rounded them in there a little bit. One more round of reducing. So again we're back to our stitch marker. So in that stitch, just want to slip stitch to the one with the slip mark, the stitch marker in it, slip stitch, and chain one, so we move up one row, so we're ready for our last row of decrease. Now, as we did before, we're going to go into that same stitch with a single crochet, and mark it. Okay, there's our first one. We need 11 this time. So we're going 11 single crochets. That was the first one, so we need 10 more. There's single crochet number two, three, four, five, So there's our first 11 <coughs> single crochets on that round, which I call round 8. Let's pull out a little bit more yarn. Our last reduction, since we already made this so small, right in here, we're already pulling it in. We have to do this one more time with two double crochet two together. So there's one. And 
there's the second one. That's all we need to do on that one for reducing. So 11 more single crochets to go meet us back at the stitch marker. So there's one. And 11. We're back at the stitch marker, so we'll do the same thing again. Into that stitch, slip stitch, and a chain one, so we're ready for the next round. And this is when it gets really, really easy. Now we're just going to go single crochet all the way around to even up these little edges. There's a single crochet. Our first one, we're going to mark it. Again, it's just easier. I think magical stitch markers are just awesome. It just saves time. There we go. So see, now we have what looks like a tiny shoe. All those three rows of reducing did all of that, all of that trimming down. That's all it took was three rows. Isn't that great? All right, so that was our first one. We're going to go all the way around. It'll be 24. We've reduced from 44 stitches down to 24. So that was our first one. We're going to go all the way around with single crochet, so we need 23 more. There's number two. I just smushed it down while I was doing my round. But see, it just cleaned up this edge right here just a little bit. Pull those stitches in a little bit. It looks awesome now. All right, now this is the really, really, really easy part. All the rounds from now on are going to be the same. And we don't have to do the chain one anymore. We're just going to work in the round. So this will be our first stitch with no slip stitch chain one. This is just going to be our very first one. Our marked stitch is going to be a single crochet. We're going to move this guy over and mark him so we know where the front is. We don't so we know which one is the first stitch. Now it's going to be the Suzette stitch which is one of my favorites. I did a tutorial on this one already. It's really simple. So the first part of a Suzette stitch is a single crochet and then a double crochet in the same stitch and then we're going to skip a stitch. Skip that guy. Go over here. It's a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. and then skip the next stitch. Single and a double in the same stitch and then skip the next one. Do that all the way around so you get back to the stitch marker. So that was the first round of Suzette, which again was a single and a double crochet in the same stitch, and then the next one is a skip. So we're back here now, all the way back to, made it all the way around to the stitch marker again. 
we're going to skip this last stitch and work right into the one that's marked. Starting on round two of our Suzette. Mark him again. And here's his double crochet. So we completed the first stitch of our Suzette round number two. It doesn't look like it would do too much, but it's just interesting enough. Just a cute stitch. All right, we have one more round to do. And then we are done. One booty down. So again, that was our last stitch. One here to skip. We're going to go and do, just like we have been, a single crochet into this first stitch and move our stitch marker. There we go. And our last thing we're going to do is a single crochet all the way around in every stitch. Instead of a Suzette, we're doing our single crochets. So that was the first one. It's already marked. There's 24. That was our very last, last one. Easy peasy. All we do is, the very last thing is we're going to slip stitch into our marked stitch and then finish off. So cute! I just love it! Right. Cut! Pull him through. Nice and tight. And tuck that in in a minute. All right now we have these little danglies right here super fast and easy. We don't even have to get out a yarn needle to do anything with those. I'm going to take my, I'm going to use my four again. Just sneak in here in between the two soles and just pull it through. Sometimes it's a little tricky to catch it. Sometimes you can catch both of them at once. That's really nice. Just pull it through here like this. Go back and find the other one. Pull it in. And you don't even have to weave them in. It's always nice when you can find a way to not have to weave in ends. Cut them a little bit shorter. And now they've disappeared. Isn't that great? <laughs> so sneaky. All right, so there he is. There's the cutest booty. Oh, actually, we do have to weave in this one. Everybody weaves in their ends the way that they want to. So there we go. He's finished. The easiest baby booty ever. Just make another one looks just like it, and you have the cutest baby gift. That you made with your own two hands in a very short period of time. Instant gratification. I will thank you for stopping by. 
I appreciate your support. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you for supporting my small business. And I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye. Take off my glasses now.